Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going through the Battlefield 2042 full presentation from EA Play. If there is anything else you'd like to like hear my opinion on from this EA Play, then what you have to do is let me know in the comments because the only things I've really seen is Battlefield, FIFA 22, which I have no interest in, and Dead Space Remake, which I'm not personally interested in either. I've heard there's a lot of games that were missed out on and I don't really, like, I've not seen any other videos or anything covering other games. That's all like season two for Knockout City and stuff. So if there is anything interested, let me know. And um, we're going to go through this full presentation. I've heard some good stuff about some game mode or something. So I'm actually looking forward to watching this. Let's press play and get into it. On behalf of our entire team, we hope you're thrilled with what you've seen so far from Battlefield 2042. In but terms of gameplay, yeah, don't look too bad. We have so much more to show you. Oh, advert. Battlefield 2042 is built up by three epic experiences. Firstly, of course, all that warfare that we showed you earlier. Secondly, Hazard Zone, that we'll show off later this year. And now, a new community-driven experience that we're happy to share with you today. Built by our old friends over at Triple Effect, formerly Dice LA, it's an experience designed from community feedback. It's an experience we've dreamt about building for over a decade. So, let's have a look. They've dreamt about it for over a decade. Yeah, we'll be the judge of that. Okay, here we go. Espinosa. Okay, this is quite cool the way it's all just dropping in. What's this called? Battlefield Portal, I think. What the what is going on? This just looks like full on mayhem. Oh, oh, lovely. Okay, it's, it's like very, very action packed. Oh, oh, the defibs. Love the defibs. Oh god. Oh, little birds. Got to love a little bird. It's, it's a mixture of classic maps, isn't it, in a game mode? Okay. And... What map was that from? I remember one of them towers. I can't remember the name of the map. I'm pretty sure it's Battlefield 4. Hold on. Your Battlefield, it said. Let's have a little look. That's one of the 2042 maps. Your rules. Is this... Oh, no. Is this custom game modes? Can we make our own game modes? Battlefield Portal. Change the rules of war. Explain it. Give us some detail. What is going on? Oh, Levolution! See, if there's anything like this in game, it's going to be fantastic. Only in Battlefield 2042. They should have removed 2042. Only in Battlefield. This looks incredible. There's so yeah, but what many is it? crazy things happening. Tell in me. Australia. We got knives versus defibrillators. We got soldiers from every year. I have so many questions. So let's bring on an expert. Here to help us out is the general manager of Ripple Effect. We've got Christian Grass. Welcome. Christian. Okay. Hey, Austin. Thanks for having me. Super excited to be here. Of course. Thank Hello, you Christian. Here. Now, that trailer, absolutely Ridiculous. Like, what the hell did we just see? So what you just saw was the Battlefield Portal. It's a new community-driven experience that gives players the freedom to write their own rules and shape their Ooh. own battlefield. You can mix and match content from Battlefield 1942, Bad Company 2, BF3, and Battlefield 2042 to create brand new game modes. Then you can share and discover those on the Portal platform. 
And that's just what's coming at launch. This is a real love letter to the fans from our incredible team. And so no oh, BF4, one or five. Yes, this is the fantastic Ripple Effect team and they deserve all the credit in the world for creating this great experience. We've had so much fun bringing back some of the most beloved vehicles, gadgets, weapons and maps from past titles. Well, thank you all. Huge. I want Battlefield 4, C4 and quads. And everyone who's made Battlefield 2042 possible. All right, so to bring it back, when you say beloved maps, we're we talking Caspian border. Yes. That was Green it. Harbor. Yes. El Alamein. Yes, El Alamein is also included. It's actually my all-time favorite map. Plus, we have Noshar Canal, Battle of the Bulge, and Valparaiso. And of course, all seven of the new epic scale maps already announced for 2042, they're also playable in Portal. I love it. I love it. But this is more than just maps, right? Absolutely. Portal is a chance for the community to drive. I just love Caspian border. Of customization options and even an advanced logic editor for you to play around with. Tools that were previously only available to us on the development team. So that trailer, it was just packed with a ton of crazy moments. So I'm curious, how wild can we actually get with Portal? You can get pretty wild. Yeah? Okay, so can I pit World War II against 2042? Yes, you can. Okay, uh, what about game modes? Can I make an infection mode where it's me against a ton of super fast soldiers with knives? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, you can actually customize it however you want. But, but not just regular shoddy snipes, like, like, like a gun game with a whole bunch of shoddy snipes from all throughout history. That is a very specific idea there, Austin. But yes, actually you can. Batten three for three, bring it home. Can I play as a penguin with a flamethrower? A penguin with a flamethrower? Yeah. No, I mean, look, there are some limits. It's not a level editor. You can't that is so scripted, it's unbelievable. It's, no, it's cringy how scripted that stuff is. Thrower. All right, that's, that's fine. That's fine, I had to ask. But it does sound like there's a ton to play around with. Oh, yes. It just it didn't flow smooth. And we're committed to working with the community to build out this suite of tools and content as the game evolves. We want this experience to go where you want to take it. We see the sandbox as a big part of the future of Battlefield 2042. Well, I assume that the community is going to have a field day with this. Oh, 100% the community are going to be fully involved, making crazy different game modes on maps. A sneak peek to a few members of the community to see what they could come up with. Oh, okay. I assume my invitation got lost in the mail, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's check it out. They, they could have made that so much more natural. Only one way to score. This is VIP Fiesta by Courage. It's the US factions of Battlefield 3 and Bad Company 2 facing off on Arica Harbor with 24 players and random loadouts. Die and you'll redeploy with an all new loadout. Track down that enemy VIP and make it count. I'd, I'd say, yeah, changing loadout every uh, respawn. to Caspian border and take on the forces of 1942. This is quality versus quantity by Gabitron. It's still all pre-alpha stuff that's being shown. On 32 players from 1942. The future's got the hardware, but the past's got the numbers. Destroy those MCOMs. See, the thing is as well, with all that coding stuff that they're implementing for the community to use, is it going to be console or is this PC only? Not enough memes? Fine. Set up on orbital for the fight of your lives with Robot Man by Redacted. 20 duck sized EOD bots, one horse sized T91. Settle your battlefield debates on who wins what. <laughs> Come on, dude, bro. Is it coming to launch? This looks so much fun, but I need to know. Just pretend like the cameras aren't here. Just me and you. Who's Redacted? Can't tell you that, sorry. But what I can tell you is that we're so excited for the players to create or simply discover their favorite new way to play Battlefield. And we can't wait to explore and try out the thousands of experiences our community will build once they have the tools in their hands. And we get our hands on Portal at launch, right? Yes. Okay. Portal will there we be go. available at launch day one, along with a bunch of pre-made modes for you to try right away. Okay, this is, this is fantastic. Now, Christian, before you go, let me make sure that I have all of this straight. So on top of all the content and maps that have already been announced, we also get content from Battlefield 1942, 
Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 3, including six of the best maps of all time, and all that can be sliced, diced, and mixed together in Portal, and then we still have Hazard Zone coming later this year? Yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you, Austin. If you've always been a fan, or if you've never played Battlefield before, we want Battlefield 2042 to be the ultimate Battlefield experience. Christian, just, just thank you. Thank you. My pleasure, Austin. I'll see you on the battlefield. <laughs> okay, so that's the video done. I, I still have questions. Why no BF4, BF1, or BF5? I do like how it's Bad Company 2, 1942, and BF3. There's going to be some limitations. Like There's going to be restrictions. Because all the coding stuff, I don't think you're going to be able to do that on console. Not entirely sure. They might have a way of coding that into the console port. Will they be adding anything extra to it at a later date? Because Battlefield 2042 is going to be the most live service Battlefield game that they've ever released. So I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm filled with questions for this. I'm excited for it because to be able to play with loadouts different and different game modes and stuff, all that the community make, because I can guarantee you right now there are some people in the community that have a much better vision for a game than the people that create the games themselves. I've always played community-made stuff because a lot of the time it is better than the game itself. So to have this included is fantastic. And what I'm going to do is leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it.